Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for the weekend, January 14th and 15th, 2017. We're going to have a weak disturbance moving off to our south today, very weak in fact, uh, right along this boundary that moved through uh, Thursday night and uh, early Friday. Uh, moved off to the south here and kind of stalled, and a little weak wave low pressure is going to move along that. You can barely even see it, uh, but there is a little wave of low pressure here. Uh, the only problem is we have the strong high that's sitting right here. Uh, a little bit stronger than uh, was anticipated earlier in the week by the model, so uh, that's why we trended less and less with the uh, precipitation involved with this. But uh, we do expect some light snow showers to occur basically in the southern half of our coverage area today. Not much of wave accumulations, very uh, uh, lackluster amounts, if you will, and uh, those will mostly be on, on a uh, non-paved surface uh, type uh, accumulations situation because... Uh, it's just coming down so light, and I really don't expect it too much. Just some coatings, uh, maybe up to an inch if you're lucky. And that's, again, maybe our, our southern locations for that to occur. Uh, again, uh, maybe south, I'd say south of I-78 would probably be a good bet. As we go into uh, the NAM uh, future simulator radar, just going a little bit forward here, you can see a lot of, uh, not even showing up as blue here. These are just grays. It was so light. And uh, some of this might not be reaching the ground either because of the fact that it's so light. But uh, and we have that high pressure and dry air in place. Uh, but uh, you do have a couple rain showers across the southern uh, southern regions here. Or it might have a little bit of freezing drizzle in some areas where that uh, you know where the uh, precipitation does break through later toward the evening. But this does start to move away then in the evening and, and gets out of here. This is not a big deal whatsoever. So I don't want anybody to think I need to start canceling plans or something. This is not going to be a roadways accumulation for, uh, as as a grand or general rule grand scheme of things. I was trying to say uh, will not be a big deal. Uh, going a little bit forward from this, once this moves away, this does develop into an actual low pressure offshore here, but that's obviously too late for anything uh, to occur here. And then we're going to get into a uh, kind of a tranquil pattern here at first. Uh, we're going to have high pressure under control here for Sunday, so a mostly sunny sky. And uh, temperature is going to creep up back to near normal for this time of year, maybe slightly above by Monday. Uh, I do expect it to be uh, dry here on Monday, though. We're going to have a warm front. That's going to be pushing through here on Tuesday. Could have a few showers with that as it does so. And this will be in the form of rain. I don't expect any wintry with this. The warm front pushes through. And then we have the trailing cold front that will come through here on Wednesday. Uh, GFS is a little bit faster here with this front and showing it uh, coming through uh, earlier in the day on Wednesday. Or maybe even uh, maybe even Tuesday night. Uh, the European model is a little bit slower with it. And it's more of a later Wednesday and Wednesday night type deal. So... Uh, either way, we're going to have a the cold front come through and give us some rain. And again, this is all rain, no no snow or uh, frozen precipitation involved with this. And once this moves offshore, uh, it doesn't get, uh, there's not really a cold uh, push of air behind it. It is uh, going to be a little bit cooler here than it was on Wednesday. Wednesday, probably in the mid-50s, give or take a few degrees. So again, it's going to be, we're going to head into a mild pattern right now. It's going to be like this for a little, for a little while, probably about another two weeks or thereabout uh, of this mild air. Once we get toward the end of the month, and especially heading into February, we're going to be flipping it around in a hurry, we think. And we, had, we did update our long-range outlook like we do every Friday uh, on the website, so you can check that out if you are so inclined. Uh, but uh, we do expect a big turnaround here in the month of February. Uh, but as far as the uh, the week ahead here, we're not really looking at uh, too much of this, uh, aside from that uh, cold front coming through here on Wednesday. It's not really an active uh, wet pattern either, so it's going to be mild. Uh, it'll probably be good if you wanted to sneak out the, you know, the golf clubs and get the golf clubs out, dust them off, and go schedule a tee time. Uh, it will be mild, so uh, not, not too warm yet. It's not going to be really warm. Don't get the wrong idea. Like We're talking about 60s and 70s here, but it will be warmer than average, and that thing that is going to stick around to at least the 27th, we think. After that point, we can start to see some change. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, January 14th and 15th, 2017. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.